Another InDesign quick tip by Fatfly Design. As you design your work in Adobe InDesign and you place images on your pages and place text on your pages and you're working along and let's say that you're getting ready to send this off to be produced somewhere. Well, there are some errors that you need to make sure that you fix before you package your designs or perhaps create a PDF that you're sending off. So let's look at a couple places that we need to check um, to see if there are any errors. Now, right here in my InDesign window, down here at the bottom, you'll see that this document has two errors. You see the little red sign? Two errors, and so if I click on this, and let's go look and see what it's saying in the pre-flight panel. So in the pre-flight panel, it's given me two errors with links. Or, I'm sorry, it's giving me one error with links and one error with text. So let's see what the links is all about. It's got a missing link. So I've got a graphic in here. It's this one right here that's a missing link. Now I can also see it here. I could have also seen that problem in my links panel. So right here. So at some point, I place this graphic in my document, but then I have moved or renamed it. It's broken. The link is broken, so I need to go back and relink that. So let's go see what the problem is. So if I come out here to my computer, this is the folder it's supposed to be in. This is where I originally had it, but I have at some point moved it out of there. It's out here, so the link is broken. It's not sure where that is. So I'm going to move this back into where I want it. I've got it in here in this folder. Now let's jump back over to InDesign and see what it says. Well, looky there. It actually fixed the link. So it, it, it's now exactly where it's supposed to be. Let's go back and try that again. I'm going to move this out again. Back over in InDesign. Now that link is broken again. Another approach I could have taken was to double click on this and it would say go find that file for me and I know it's right here and I could relink it to its new location so that might be an option you need to do as well okay so I fixed that error now there's another error here in my pre-flight panel that's dealing with text and it says that I have overset text so it's in this text frame right here so let's take a look and see what that's all about If I come down here, it's a bit hard to see. You have to really keep an eye out for these. But do you see this little box that's red with a plus sign in it? What that means is I have more text in here than can actually be shown within that text box. So there's more text that exists that's being cut off. And that's something that I suggest that you always, always fix. Okay? And I have actually quite a bit more text even if I extend this out a long ways I've still got more text so what I have to do is make this I have to f make sure all the text fit so I expanded that enough to where all the text fit okay well I've got a problem with it overlapping my photo now so I'd have to rearrange my layout or I'd have to cut some text that may be the solution is get rid of this if I really don't need it and notice that that little red box with the plus sign in it has disappeared so I no longer have overset text and it's disappeared from my pre-flight panel so we have fixed two errors before we actually go to file package or export it as a PDF and that's something you should always need to do is keep an eye out for those errors and down here it says no errors as well now unfortunately there's one error that this pre-flight panel does not pick up and I wouldn't even notice it until I go to file package and then suddenly it gives me another warning here saying you've got links and images you've, they found two of them none are modified none are missing so that's all good but one uses RGB color space so that may be a problem if I'm doing a printed publication I want that to be CMYK so I'd have to hit cancel and let's go look in our links panel window links now I really wish as I come down here that it does tell me it's RGB I really wish it would put a little exclamation point or something to catch my eye on that it really doesn't so 
here's my problem. This needs to be CMYK, and it's not. So how can I fix that problem? Well, what I would do is I would come over here to my links panel, I would control click or right click on it, and I would say edit original. Now, if I just click on edit original on a Mac, it's going to open this up in the software called preview, and that's not what I want. So let's actually go edit with, and then go to Photoshop. It will open that file up in Photoshop. Then I can go to image, mode, CMYK. It's converted. I would save it, close it, and back over here in InDesign, it has been updated and it's CMYK, so it's good to go now. So I have fixed three errors. One was a broken link, one was overset text, and one was an image was RGB that should have been CMYK. You need to make sure that you fix all of these types of issues before you finally go to file package. Now I have no errors and I can continue on with packaging my file. Those are three common errors that you'll run into. Make sure when you run into them that you stop and fix them and don't ignore them. Thanks for watching this InDesign quick tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. Also, if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.